My name is Yasmin. We will be pinpointing where you can find some important safety equipment in our lab. The first is the eye wash station. The recommended time is 20 minutes and it helps to flush harmful chemicals from eyes. There are four pop-off covers. Press down on the hand sign, but don't push all the way or else the water will splash all over you instead of your eyes. You want to move your face towards the middle and gently press down and allow the water to flush away the chemicals from your eyes. Try to hold open your eyes for at least a couple of minutes. Hi, my name is Julie. So I'm going to show what happens if you have a severe accident on your skin. And what you should use is the emergency shower. And you will only use it if it's really emergent because if you turn on this thing over here, it will flood the whole room and can flood other rooms nearby too. So. Hi, my name is Nancy, um, and another safety thing is the first aid kit. It is located in the corner of the room next to the cubby holes. Um, this is used when you're cut or um, when you're lightly injured. Yeah. Um, it's all the essentials. All the essentials for your cut or wound. So another safety um, hazard, if there's anything, there's the fire extinguisher, which would be outside of the classroom. And if there's any fire, just grab the fire extinguisher and bring it inside. Located next to the door is going to be where uh, the broken glass container is, with, along with the broom and the sweeper. What you'll do is originally pick up wherever you um, drop the glass, put it in there, open this baby up, put the glass inside. All right. Boom. Located next to the door and next to the sink is this is a, a pipette disposal over here you'll just dispose of pipettes that um, have been contaminated or aren't in proper use and right here the biohazard don't even touch that Ooh. that's just for a disposal of um, biohazards yeah biohazards and then this is for contaminated swabs and toothpicks um, as you can see there's the solution it's two percent sanosol and right here, this is to dispose glassware and uh, petri, little petri dishes. Don't. And organic waste. Uh, whenever we would need to use organic waste, like solvents, alcohols, flammables, etc., we would need to put it in here using the funnel. The never, never pour it in there. And here you would use inorganic waste like reagents, trace metals, benedict, iodine, etc. You use a funnel and um, there should be another container but they might be using it and here when we have to do pick preservatives dissection, dissection <laughs> we would be doing the same procedure um, but our professor would notify us of how to use this you originally have a big bucket and with yes. that funnel dispose of the liquid in there Always wear safety goggles to protect eyes in case of chemicals going into them. Any other hazard is like glass. One important safety procedure is to never eat or drink in the lab. No eating or drinking. Put that away. Another important safety procedure is to wear sensible clothing. This scarf would not be allowed in the lab. This light represents the fire, and if this scarf catches on fire, her face, catches on her fire. face would catch on fire, her whole body would catch on fire, and she would have to use the emergency shower. Or die. Or die. They are demonstrating how to put away and clean up their work area. Now notice that there is a backpack and a water bottle on the table. That could be a potential hazard. So the student will 
put her backpack down in one of the cubicles uh, on the desk and put the water in there as well or she could put it in the cubicle located over there on the end. Located next to the door are a, is a big sink where you can wash your hands for safety in case you still have chemicals left in your hands and before you leave. And then there are sinks along every single table. So before you leave, you should all wash your hands. Please. We will demonstrate how to use an electronic analytical scale. First, we will begin by taking the mass of an object by placing it on top of a watch glass or in a small container. We use the watch glass. Before massing, make sure the digital scale is set to zero by pressing on the letter C. If it says 0.000 grams, you are set to go. Now we place the object inside the scale. Oops. Now we see that it might be best for an object this movable to be in a container instead of a watch glass. Even so, let's continue. You will see that the scale reads 37.124 grams. For best results, we record the entire number, all five significant figures. Once the number is constant, we may remove our object and record the number. If we only wanted to mask the object without the watch glass or container, we will remove the object, press a button that says 0 slash T, which means tear or tar, and it will not mask the watch glass or container. We place the object on top and see the object's actual mass. We will record all digits shown. Remember to keep your scales and surrounding work area clean. And remember class, if you have any questions or concerns, you can refer back to your safety manual or ask the professor. Thanks for watching! because that might happen. You'll splash all of yourself instead of your eyes. So, slowly go. And there it is. You have to keep it there for a couple minutes. More, I think 15 is what it is. And pull it down. Make sure you're not wearing contacts. Take them off. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Located next to the door and oh, next to the sink. <laughs> It's gonna be where where is our star? Located next to the door and next to the sink is proper use. And right here the biohazard is um oh crap. Ooh. That's don't even touch that. Ooh. That's just for a disposal of um, biohazards. Yeah, biohazards.